is your girl, Annetta Powell, and you know, I'm going to cut five videos, okay? And I want to educate you on why um, you want to be a two percenter, okay? You know, it's a scenario where they say 97%, you know, of the people do not make it in network marketing, internet marketing, 3% do. Some people say 2%, okay? But I'm going to say 2%, okay? You, why you need to be a two percenter and what will it take for you to become a two percenter, okay? And, and I'm going to give you these five actual steps. And it's up to you to actually step out, implement, and take action, okay? I'm going to tell you what you need to do in order to become a two percenter, okay? Step one is you have to have clear goals, okay? You have to, you know, write down how much money will you make. What steps are you going to take to get there, okay? And what are you trying to accomplish, okay? Whatever you're trying to accomplish, you have to start to do the research on exactly what do you need to get to that next level. That's the bottom line. You got to set clear goals. And another thing that will help you clear your goals is you got to find no more than three people that you admire on the internet that you want to be like and you want to watch them so that they can help you obtain your goals. So if they have products, whatever the case may be, if they have an event coming up, you want to get into that circle and understand what are they doing to be successful, okay? It's all about, you know, writing out your goals on a piece of paper, putting them and posting them in your bedroom, posting them in your house so that you can look at them every single day and you can lean towards your goals, work towards your goals, and you have to stick with it, okay? If you don't have a clear goal as to, you know, I want to quit my job within a 24-month um, span, you know, I want to make $10,000 within 24 months, have specific, realistic goals. Don't say you want to make a million dollars tomorrow because at the end of the day, if you don't have the proper tools, you don't have the proper people in your life, and if you're not educating yourself properly, you won't be able to make a million dollars the next day. It takes time. So you have to be realistic with yourself. And sometimes it can be, you know, everything will depend on are you married? Are you single? Do you have children? What are your finances looking like? Because it takes money to get to the next goal. It takes money to learn the necessary um, skills that you need to get to the next level. So you got to be realistic with your situation and be honest with yourself so that you can set clear goals. We hear, hear people say all the time, you got to have goals, you got to have goals. But you have to be serious about your goals. You have to spend a, maybe, you know, the first mornings first three or four hours with yourself in a quiet setting about what are you trying to accomplish in life? Where do you want to be in life? What are you going to do to get there? What skill set do you need? Who are you going to hang around? Okay. You got to have clear, precise goals. You got to know clearly what you're trying to accomplish. You know, a lot of times we you don't know, have, you know, we have it to where we're chasing other people's dreams, where we may see, you know, a, a, this individual making a lot of money and we want to be like that individual and we sign up. It's cool to be like them or want to be like them, but you want to design your own life. You want to design your own plan and you got to be willing to do what they did to be, to achieve that success. You know, a lot of times we want that success, but when it's time to work for that success and implement our work ethics, we don't want to implement it. We just sit there and say, oh, okay, I want to be successful. I want to be successful. What are you doing? Okay, so today I need you to go purchase a little notepad, you know, or a journal, whatever is going to make you feel great. Okay, keep that with you, and I want you to write down what do you want financially? What steps are you going to take to get there? What skill set do you need? And what environment do you need to be around in order to get there? Okay, so that's step one of being a two percenter. Okay, tomorrow we're going to talk about step two.